Hey everyone, welcome back to Objective Reviews. My name is Nick and I hope you're staying indoors and I hope you're staying safe. In this video, we are gonna be checking out an app called What Smith by David Smith. Now, if that name sounds familiar, that's because he is the maker of Sleep Plus Plus, which we have also reviewed earlier on this channel right here. So you can go check it out. Now, knowing that this app was made by him, it was an instant buy for me. Downloading the app, which is free, gets you the iPhone app, which you use to customize all the complications that will show up on your watch face, as well as the watchOS app, which will actually host the complications themselves. So this isn't a standalone watchOS app, and we'll see why that is so. When you launch the watchOS app, you can see that it has different sections, and each section supports a different kind of a watch face. The description for each section shows which kind of watch faces it supports. So it's a good idea to read them and go through all of them so you know exactly the one you're supposed to edit depending on the watch face or faces that you use. And this is a great thing because you can set up two or three or all of them because if you're the meridian kind of a person on the streets and the numerals duo kind of a person in the sheets, well, the app has you covered. Tapping on a section will bring you to the settings of that section and this is where you'll start to unlock the full potential of Wattsmith. And as you can tell from this screen itself, you can have a different complication in the same spot for a different time of the day. And you can just have one throughout the day or you can have two or as many as you want. Depending on the time of the day, you can show a different complication in there. Now for my default, I have the activity bars selected here. The default choice only kicks in whenever you have an empty slot. As you can see, I have a blank slot set up for 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. because I am most likely not going to be looking at anything while I'm asleep. Tapping on an existing complication or when you're setting up a new one brings up the complications list, which is neatly organized and the associated settings, customization settings for each one of them. Now for my 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. slot here, I have the Oslo local time zone setup, which I don't really need. So we're gonna change that to something like uh, precipitation percentage. So let's go ahead and do that. Once selected, you can set the location for it. And what I really love about Wattsmith is that you can be very generic or very verbose with the location setting. For example, you can be very generic and just set the location as Mumbai to know the general precipitation percentage in Mumbai. Or you can be really, really specific and select a region like Andheri East, West or Pandra or whatever else you have. So it entirely depends on you and the kind of data you want to be shown in the watch complication. From there, you can select a font, a foreground or tint color, a background color to suit your personal taste. Wattsmith is really unopinionated about these things. Once you're done, you can just save the settings and the iOS app will sync all of these settings to the watchOS app so it knows about these new changes that you've just made. Sometimes these settings may not sync across. For example, say your watch was turned off or was low on battery or whatever the case is. So you can go into the app settings and force the settings to be synced again. However, as of recording this video, neither of these two worked reliably for me. So here's a quick workaround that you can employ. You open up the watch app on your iPhone. You find Wattsmith in the list of the apps. You open it and then uninstall the app and then install it again. What this does is forces the iOS app to resend all of the data to the watchOS app. Now I've already written to David about this issue and I hope they release a fix for this in an upcoming update. The watchOS app is similarly useful and gives you quick shortcuts to open various sections of the data available to it from uh, whatever you have authorized on your iPhone. If you're also subscribed to their premium plan, you can view daily and weekly weather data. So it can come in really, really handy. There are also two games bundled on the Watch app. And uh, the reason this video is a whole day late is because I've been playing Bounce. Guilty. Now, as you can see on the watch here, the hands of the watch face hide the complication that we just set up. So. This could be an issue, but Wattsmith already knows that this can be an issue. So they have a setting in there and you can just toggle it on or off depending on your personal preference. I prefer to leave it on, just set it to whatever you like. The premium subscription of this app costs 169 rupees a month or roughly $2.99 US. So it is on the slightly expensive side for weather data. However, because of how verbose the data is, how granular it can get, uh, based on the region you select. I am gonna give this a shot for two months and see if I find the data useful because of how granular it can get in the location settings itself, which could be really useful considering that the Indian monsoons are approaching pretty soon. 
Having said that, if I do find it useful, I'm just directly going to jump to the annual membership of the app. As I was browsing through the list of complications, you saw that there are a lot of options in there and a lot of possible combinations. And David has calculated this for us, saving us all trouble. And he's gotten the number 96,685. So it's already touching 100,000 combinations. And on Twitter, he has reported that because of the kind of framework he has built for this app, he'll be able to add new features and new complications and customizations pretty quickly now going forward in the upcoming updates. So I'm really, really excited to see what he brings next into Wordsmith. So having said all of this, Wordsmith, just like Sleep++ Plus Plus, gets my full recommendation. I'll leave the download link for you guys down in the description, go check it out. And this video released early on Patreon. So if you wanna support me and the channel and help me grow this channel, into a wider audience space, well, go check it out. And I would really, really appreciate if you subscribed as my Patreon. And thank you for the 1900 subscribers. We just crossed 1900 yesterday, I believe, while I was playing Mounts. So yeah, can't wait to hit 2000 and then 10,000 pretty soon. Well, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, you know what to do. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon and do all of that other fancy stuff other people tell you to do. Well, stay indoors, stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.